Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my videos please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In the last video we have discussed about the cyclic redundancy check and how it will detect the errors at the receiver all these things i have discussed in a detail with few examples i hope you have watched that video if you have not watched that video i request you to go and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding in this video i want to discuss another error detection strategy which is a checksum mechanism this checksum mechanism will be used at the transport layer so we will discuss how the source will identify the redundant bits and how it will be transferred and how the receiver will check whether there is an error or not so let me discuss it and i request everyone for a better understanding you please watch the complete video okay so we will discuss about the checksum mechanism okay now in the checksum mechanism let's take that the data you want to send it as 1010011101010 now the first thing is that the checksum will be 8 bit checksum or 16 bit checksum or 32 bit checksum like that it will be there just for example i am considering that we have a 44 bit checksum so 44 bits you will consider it as a one block and then you have to compute the checksum bits okay are you able to understand or even these bits are called as a parity bits or redundant bits now remember one thing if the source want to send the m bits of data in any error detection strategy we have to send some number of r number of bits as a redundant bits if it is a parity one we have sent only one bit if it is a crc based on the number of bits in the divisor the number of bits in the r will be find it out if the number of bits in the divisor is n then you need to send n minus 1 bits as a redundant bits now in the crc mechanism the number of bits in the r will be depend on the block size if you are making as a block size as 4 bits then you have to send another 4 bits as a redundant bits now first we will discuss how to compute this 4 bits uh, which are redundant bits i need to send at the sender side okay now please listen we have to perform addition between these num blocks of data using ones complement addition are you able to understand it or not so first you need to perform the addition of all these bits then compute the ones complement of the result that result will be act as a redundant bits i hope you have understood what is the process at the sender side if you have not understand don't worry i will discuss the process with this example now what i have to do first i need to perform the addition between 1010 and 0101 sorry 0110 i will perform ones complement addition now let me discuss first i need to perform the binary addition 0 and 0 the sum will be 0 and even carry also will be 0 if it is 1 1 the sum will be 0 okay carry is 1 okay then again carry is 1 and this is 1 so 1 1 again the sum is 0 carry is 1 are you able to follow it or not then again sum is 1 and carry is 1 again you have to perform the addition 1 and 1 you will get the sum as 0 and ca and carry you will get 1 now remember one thing in ones complement addition i have discussed in the computer organization anyway let me discuss if you get the end carry as 1 you have to add it here so you will get 0001 so you need to add it to the lsb okay least significant bit 
Now, if you perform addition between 1010, 0, 0101, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, you got the result as 0001. Are you following it or not? Then again add this one, 1010. 0, 1, 0. Then again perform the binary addition. 1 and 0 will be 1. 0 and 1 will be 1. 0, 0 will be 0. 0, 1 will be 1. So you got the result as 1, 0, 1, 1 if you perform addition all these bits. Now how you need to find the redundant bits what you need to send. You have to take the ones complement of this one. What is the meaning of ones complement? You are making it as a negative number. Am I right or wrong? Okay. So ones complement of this one will be what? Can anyone tell me how to get the ones complement? If the input is 1, the ones complement output will be 0. If the input is 0, the ones complement output will be 1. It is simple. If you have a 1, you will make it as 0. If you have a 0, you will make it as 1. This is the ones complement process. Okay. So, I have 1, 0. I made it as 0, 1 and then 0, 0. So, this information or this as the redundant bits, I will send from the source to the destination using transmission medium. Are you able to understand? This is the actual data the source want to send and this is the redundant data you are sending to detect the errors at the receiver. Okay. Now we will check or we will discuss what is the process at the destination. Now let's take that destination has received the actual data means there is no noise in the transmission medium and whatever the sender has sent receiver has received correctly. Now we will check how it will identify whether it is received correctly or not. Okay. Now the receiver uh, what it will do is that again it will perform the once complement addition between the data and the redundant bits. Whatever the result it will get again it will perform the once complement if it gets 0, then I can say that the receiver has received the data whatever the sender has sent. If it gets the other than 0, then I can say that there is an error. Okay, now we will discuss what the receiver will do with this example. Now just again take it 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Again you perform the addition. Okay. And once complement addition you have to do, so 0, 0 you will get 0, 1, 1, let me write it with a black pen so that you will understand, 1, 1 you will get sum as 0 carry as 1. Now again 1, 1 sum as 0 carry as 1, 1, 1 again sum is 0 carry is 1. I hope you know this one, if you are adding 1 and 1 sum will be 0 and carry is 1. If you are adding 1, 1, 1, meaning is that your data is 1 and 1 and your end carry is 1, then you will get the sum as 1, end carry also 1. Are you able to understand it or not? This is the binary addition. Okay. So, I got 1, 0, 0, 0. Using one's complement addition, what should I do? If there is an end carry, add that end carry to the LSB. If you add it, you will get 0, 0, 0, 1. Are you able to understand? If you perform addition of these two bits, you got 1, 0, sorry, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then again you add it, 1, 0, 1, 0. Then what you will get? 1, 1, 0, 1. Is it clear? Now, after performing addition all these three blocks, you got 1, 0, 1, 1. Now what the receiver will do? Again it will add with this redundant bits. 0, 1, 0, 0. What you will get? 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the result you got. Now what you have to do? Again you have to compute the ones complement of the result. Ones complement of the result is 1, 1, 1, 1. Ones complement which will be 0, 0, 0. So, after performing addition using the ones complement, you got 0, 0, 0. If you got all the bits as zeros, then you can say that the receiver has received correctly. 
if any bit is modified you will not get the final result as 0 0 if you get the if it does not get the final result as 0 then you can say that there is an error if the final result is 0 then you can say that there is no error if final result is not equal to 0 then receiver will check that or can say that there is an error in the data transmission and the receiver can reject the packet and ask the sender to retransmit the packet. Are you able to understand? It is very simple. You have to perform the addition at the source side. What it will do? It will perform the addition and then whatever the result it will get, it will add the once complement. Let's make it simple. If you does not understand like this, let me tell you simply. 1010 what it is in decimal number can you tell me 1010 okay 1010 okay and 0110 1010 this is the data source want to send am i right or wrong what is this 1010 if you convert into decimal number this is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so which is nothing but then if you know the process it is very simple 2 power 3 1 into 2 power 3 is 8 plus 1 into 2 power 1 is 2 8 plus 2 is 10 so you got 10 and this will be what 4 plus 2 6 and this is again 8 plus 2 is 10 so totally you if you perform addition what you will get 26 so you were writing minus 26 at the sender side and at the receiver what he has to do again he has to add all these things 26 minus 26 he will get 0 that is what I said okay so this is the data you want to send what the sender is doing it is performing the uh, performing the addition and it is finding the negative number of it and uh, making it as a redundant bit and sending to the receiver now receiver will perform complete addition if it gets zero then it can say that there is an error if any bit is modified let's take that this bit is modified when it was sending using a transmission medium now what it will become 1011 it will become 11 so if you add it 11 plus 6 is 17 17 plus 10 is 27 minus 26 you will get it as 1 so if you get other than zero then you can say that there is an error so this is the way the receiver will check whether or detect there is an error or not if there is an error it will neglect the packet and ask the sender to retransfer the packet so i hope you have understood what is the checksum mechanism and in which layer it will use in which layer checksum will use at the transport layer i hope you have understood all the concepts which I have discussed in this video. If you still have any doubts related to this video or related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like the video, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.